Hello guys, uh, in the series of solving gate 2024 questions, we have another question that is from process dynamics and control. If you uh, see this question, that is question, uh, consider you have a surge tank and initially system is at a steady state, initially system is at a steady state with the hold up V bar which is a 5 meter cube. So V bar is a steady state volume. So although they have used V bar but we should write uh, as our it's steady state volume is 5 meter cube clear and this is a 50 percent of full tank capacity so jo, what is the volume is there this is a 5 meter cube this volume they actually they are talking uh, it is only 50 percent of V full so how much V full is there V full means total total container the V full is nothing it's 5 upon 0 0.5 it's 10 meter cube okay now and uh, volumetric fluid is F in F out although they have used bar but you should not confuse bar is not the deviation because they have told you steady state with V bar so it's a state volume and it's a steady state flow rates so F in at a steady state equal to F out at a steady state is equal to 1 meter cube per hour it means when the input and output fluid were 1 meter cube per second then the volume was fixed as a uh, 5 meter cube okay and the high hold up alarm limit one alarm limit is there as v high means when the volume of the liquid in tank will get will be uh, more than the v high then alarm will be there and other alarm limit, uh, limit is at the v low and v high is v high is 0 0.8 of v full and v full is 10 here it means it's only 8 meter cube v high so this volume is 8 meter cube and v low is nothing it's 2 meter cube because it's a point 0.2 of V full. Okay, and P controller is used. Level controller is the P controller is used to regulate the outflow so that to hold up to be as a uh, to control the hold up. So F out is going to vary with the following relation that is given here, and uh, and at time equal to zero, F in increases as a step. So what happened? F increases at time equal to zero. F in as a function of time when it's time where when time t equal to 0 f in where 1 meter cube per hour then increases to 2 meter cube per hour and become a constant step input is there in the input step change is made disturbance is of step input of magnitude 1 from 1 to 2 assume linear and instantaneous dynamics kc minimum let kc minimum is the minimum controller gain that ensure volume should never be more than v high so volume should never exceeds v high means maximum limit for the volume to be reached is V high only. So for this we have to find out Kc minimum. What the value of Kc minimum is there. Thik, Question clear? So first of all what we should do is very simple. We have to find out transfer function for this system. And transfer function is nothing here. Output upon input. The output will be here volume and input should be V F flow rate. So we have to find out transfer function in terms of deviation V bar S upon F in bar s here bar is deviation actually so you should not confuse the bar that you use here because this bar is for steady state so first of all we have to find the transfer function for this so for transfer function what you should do you should write the material balance so material balance is nothing it's simply uh, on a steady state on a steady state material balance it's a rho into f in minus rho into f out is equal to d into rho into v upon dt it's a material balance density is constant i can cancel out this simply become f in minus f out is equal to dv over dt equation first add a steady state at a steady state we should write f in superscript s here minus f out s equal to dv s over dt equation number two clear now if you subtract these two equation then you will get here f in minus f out f in minus sorry f in minus f in at a steady state minus f out minus f out at a steady state equal to d v minus v s upon d t and they are nothing deviation variable let's say this is called as f in bar at time t and this is f out in form of deviation at time t and this is called as v bar time t then this equation will reduce to f in bar t minus f out 
bar t equal to d v bar over d t clear now f in t f minus f out f out is already given from the equation if you see f out is given this is f out is kc into since f out is kc into v minus v bar plus f out at a steady state because bar here in the question that is means a steady state so and this is at time t so f out at time t is nothing it's kc into v minus and v bar is nothing it's vs and vs is equal to 5 and f out at is 1 meter cube so if you write the deviation then deviation will simply give you this is let's say for time t at a steady state f out at a steady state is nothing kc into vs minus 5 plus 1 if you subtract to find deviation to find this value so f out in form of deviation variable is nothing it's kc into v minus v s and this is nothing is kc into v bar t so i should replace the f out with this kc into v bar t is equal to d v bar t over dt now we are in position to take the laplace if you take the laplace to find the transfer function, it's simple step to find the transfer function. If you take the Laplace, then you will get here f in s minus kc into vs v bar s is equal to s into v bar s. If it, then we can find the transfer function as a v bar s upon f in bar s is equal to 1 upon s plus kc. In form of standard, or you can take common s upon kc plus 1. Okay? And this is the first order transfer function. If you compare k upon tau s plus 1, so k is nothing 1 upon kc and tau is 1 upon kc. Clear? And uh, since in the input they have given the step response because so it has been increased from 1 to 2, then f in bar uh, s is nothing for a step input, you know, m by s. And m is the magnitude of change. Magnitude is of 1 because flow rate has been changed from 1 to 2. So if you give the step input to the first order transfer function, then step response of the first order system is v bar t is equal to m k 1 minus e k power minus t upon tau, where m is 1, k is 1 upon k c. 1 minus e k power minus t and tau is also 1 upon kc then it's kc only here clear v bar t and v bar t is nothing deviation deviation from s3 state so it's simply v at time t minus v at s3 state equal to 1 upon kc 1 minus e k power minus t kc now the question is that if you draw this figure then you'll get following figure with time when time equal to 0 then volume is here vs and vs is nothing it's 5 meter cube at a steady state then at time increases volume increases to this here like this and ultimate value when t tends to infinity then volume is when t tends to infinity what is the vt vt for time infinity is nothing it's vs plus 1 upon kc if you check clear beta so this is nothing here it's a vs plus 1 upon kc and uh, what i'm saying to you ki this value because the question is uh, what the value of kc kc will decide what the ultimate value is there this is called ultimate value or final steady state value or ultimate value so ultimate value should never be exceed never exceed the v high and v high is how much 8 meter cube clear beta so what i'm saying to you ki this value this value should the maximum value of this maximum limit of this value is only 8 meter cube it can never be more than 8 right? so what the upper limit it should be only 8 meter cube from 5 to 8 it should never cross the 8 so 8 should be equal to vs plus 1 upon kc and vs is obviously 8 equal to uh, vs is obviously 5 plus 1 upon kc then 1 upon kc is equal to 3 then kc is equal to 1 by 3 or it means answer is 0.33 or 0.34 so this is your answer so this is the value of kc means when the minimum value of kc is there because as kc you get in 
if kc will be uh, vary then ultimate value will vary so this value of kc will make the upper limit 8 meter cube clear thank you